When you're done listening to this video, everybody's going to love you. I'm just kidding, guys. They're not going to all love you, but they will drastically increase your chances of winning new clients and winning new friends in life, increasing your digital footprints prowess and decreasing the things that make you look bad. So what even is a digital footprint? This is the basics of what anybody and everybody sees when they look up your name. For example, if they look up Garth Ward, they're going to find me. They're going to find that I'm a realtor. They're going to find that I'm a family guy, that I've got a couple kids, that I've got a wife, where I live, how I do it. They'll see my business. They'll see some things like that. Now, they'll pull up all sorts of media platforms. They're going to pull up Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn's, YouTube's, anything that the algorithms pull, and that is your digital footprint. What is the thing that immediately pops up when you're searched? Because ultimately, it used to be that you would hand somebody a business card and that's how they would reach back out to you when you first met them. Today, your business card really is your digital footprint. If somebody meets you in public, at a networking event, at an open house, or even a listing appointment, the next thing that they're going to do is they're gonna look you up and they're going to see if you're legitimate. Are you a high quality agent? Are you not a high quality agent? Are you a person they would want to associate with? Are you not somebody they would want to associate with? And all of those differences are going to basically determine uh, whether or not you're going to get the business and increase your business or whether you are not. Now, how do you actually upgrade your digital footprint? I would start by scrubbing all of your social media sites. Now, start by building out reviews. Any platform like Zillow, Truly a Realtor, anywhere where you can ask for reviews in a professional capacity, start asking for reviews to make those specific pages shoot towards the top so that at least when people look you up, they find that you are a realtor. After you've gotten as many reviews as possible, make sure that your profiles on all of those pages, and if you're following my advice, all of your lead platform pages are all perfectly dialed in with great ad copy about yourself and properly updated listings and past solds, etc. Now, once all of the work stuff is done, the first page I want you to bring up is Facebook. I want you to make sure that your profile picture is professional, is a professional quality photo of you, not a random photo of your dog, not a photo of some cartoon character. It should be a photo of you that is high quality of you looking your best. Now, the back of it is also going to show a cover. Make sure that that cover is professional. It's either either a professional uh, background of your brand or a house that you've sold, or maybe it's something like your family, something that people can connect with. One of those two. Then I want you to pull up Instagram. Yes, Instagram is something that a lot of people are doing business on today. I personally do a ton of business on Instagram and a lot of people are building this into their businesses. So make sure that you're making sure that Instagram is polished as well. Again, same thing with the profile photo. Make sure that your bio actually reads like a professional's. Make sure that the content on the Instagram is real estate friendly. That doesn't mean it has to be real estate, but we're going to get that to that in a second. Uh, LinkedIn, make sure that at least that you're on there. It's not the biggest platform on the market for transactions or really networking in the realtor space today, but make sure that you're on it, that it says that you're a realtor, how long you've been in it, so that if people look you up on that platform and that's their go-to, that at least you show up and you show as legitimate. If you have a YouTube channel, make sure that your content is real estate friendly. It doesn't necessarily have to be real estate related. I know a lot of you are maybe part-time or you have other things, other interests, other hobbies. 
if you have those other hobbies, make sure they are things that will not alienate people. The goal of this entire digital scrub is not to get rid of all of your personality. The goal is to get rid of potentially divisive things on all of your platforms. Anything that might create controversy, anything that might create the stirring in somebody's stomach to say, I don't really want to work with this person. Now, scrub all of it. Also, look at your TikTok. I know very few people are still using TikTok, but developments are even sold through there. Properties are sold through there. Agents are getting business there all the time now. So, Use your TikTok the same way that you would use your Instagram. Make sure that it's professional and dialed in. You'll also want to start working on your SEO or your search engine optimization. In other words, when people type in your name, how do you make sure what ranks towards the top of those pages and what doesn't? Your goal is to get what you want to rank towards the top of the first page. One of the best ways you can do that is actually with a website, a high quality website with maybe SEO embedded into it. If that is something that you're looking to do, we can actually build one out for you for completely free. One of the best websites you will ever find on the entire marketplace. Click the link in the description below if you're interested in setting up a time with me to talk about how we do that, what is involved with it, and we can just see if we can maybe increase your digital footprint a little bit. Now, now that we've taken out everything that could possibly alienate you from other clients, we wanna make sure that posting in the future and moving forward is authentic. We wanna make sure that it's personal and it's not just listings and just solds and open houses. Those things are great to remind people that you're a real estate agent and you're in the business and you're consistently working your business like a professional. What I will say is if that's all you're posting, you are not differentiating yourself from everybody else in the marketplace. There is only a handful of people per hundred that are willing to even put themselves out there online in this business. So if that's you, stand apart from it and build the brand of you. Do that by being authentic, showing your hobbies, showing your interests, showing what you do on your off time, but do it in a way that doesn't alienate. That is the whole strategy of digital footprint scraping and rebuilding. If you are somewhat interested in potentially partnering with me or seeing what that looks like, you can click the link in the description below. I'm happy to have a conversation with anybody about what that opportunity would look like. 